Hi guys, myself Vivek Makwa and it is a final year project presentation. My team members are Pavin Kumar Vegar and Sapnaba Jadeja. We all are currently pursuing the final sem of Bachelor of Engineering in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Government Engineering College, Rajkot. Our project is guided by Mr. Bharat H. Nagpara, who is the Assistant Professor of Government Engineering College, Rajkot. Our project name is Automatic Street Light Control and Compliance System. Slide shows the content which will be covered in this presentation. Problem, Existing Solution, Our System, Feature, Requirement, Block Diagram, Schematic Diagram, Working, Advantages, Disadvantages and Application. Slide shows the common problem occurs during our regular life. Street light not working properly. Street light available at roadside but not working properly as shown in image 1. So that should be known by organization which supply light. Problem occurs while registering complaint. People are not aware about complaining. Sometimes it's become hard to register and explain major problem and technical issues. So complaint can't be registered. Street light working at daytime. Due to the irregularity of organization, streetlight are even working in daytime, which is totally wastage of electricity and generating unnecessary energy, shows in image 3. Slide shows the per day cost of one streetlight, like power required for a one streetlight is equals to 70 watt. So 70 watt divided by 1000 is equals to 0 0.07 kilowatt. 0.07 kilowatt is power required for only one street light during one hour. So 0.07 kilowatt into the 12 hour is equal to 0.84 kilowatt hour, which is power required for a one street light during 12 hour. So cost per day is equal to 0.84 kilowatt hour into the 5.7 is equal to 4.788 rupees which is cost required for a one street light during a 12 hour power required for a highway road light is equals to 110 watt so 110 watt divided by 1000 is equals to 0 0.11 kilowatt which is the power required for only one highway light during one hour so 0 0.11 kilowatt into the 12 hour is equals to 1.32 kilowatt hour which is power required for only one highway road during 12 hour so cost per day is equals to 1.32 kilowatt hour into the 5.7 is equal to 7.524 rupees which is cost required for a highway road light during 12 hour existing solution there is a solution available but it's not work properly like finding manually which is street light not working contact the street light control and maintenance department inform them the issue and give all details with proper address which is not a proper solution is it a good way no absolutely not rest of the slides are covered by my teammates Pavin Vegar and Sapnaba Chadeja Hi, I am Jareja Sapnaba. Above mentions the existing solution points are not good for our point of view. This is our solution of above mentions point. You can see in this slide it's our system overview. In the next slide, these are the features of our system. First, street light control and maintenance department can find which street light is not work itself easily. Second, if customer or residential people want to complain their problem to the authorized company, they just need to scan QR code given on the particular port and they register their problem. Third, they can control the street light by using only one click. The next slide. These are the requirement of our system as to fulfill above mentioned features. We have a two types of requirement. One is a hardware, second is a software. In 
hardware side we are required SMPS, relay module, node MCU, LDR, LED or lamp, QR code, analog multiplexer. In the software side Arduino ID, Blink software, MIT app inverter, barcode generator software, Google sheet. To work our system successfully internet is a hard code. So in the next slide, let me explain the outlook of our project through the block diagram. Our system consists two part. One part is a street light control. Second part is a complaining system. Now see over here. These are the LED street light in the block diagram. Street light need 230 SC volt but LED could not resist 230 SC volt directly. So I have a connect them with the relay module. Relays provide isolation. Now what is relay module? It's, a, it's very simple. Normally closed, normally open and common terminal in the relay. Normally closed means a relay is de-energized state. It, it has to be de-energized. So power is actually rolling through the coming in the terminal, running through the normally closed contact, then turning on the light, motor, switch, whatever you need to running them. Now what is the normally open circuit? Now normally relay. Also there is not any energy supply. We cannot connect any device. Now what is the LDR? LDR is light depending resistance also known as a photoresistance. A LDR is a sensitive device made from the semiconductor material. As per LDR, light intensity is inversely proportional to the resistance. So light increase, resistance decrease vice versa. The LDR is installed or mount on the bottom of street light. The intro information of LDR is in form of analog. So we use analog multiplexer to capture the data of LDR. So now what is the what is the node MCU? Why we are going for a node MCU other than all development boards? We have a development board like Arduino, Raspberry Pi. We use a node MCU board because this is the best way to connect internet. One of the most innocuous features is Wi-Fi connection and enhance make IoT app development easily. Now what is the node MCU? open source software and hardware development enrollment this is built on inexpensive system cheap is esp8266 now what is open source anyone can modify access node mcu development board we are using a smps node mcu connect to the cloud for the monitoring data and controlling street light. With the help of the cloud, we can access the data of street light and control. Now, you all have wood question regarding complaining. These slides give you two idea about how you can register your complaint. We are going to put QR code in our street light. Through the mobile app, just selecting the fold by scanning the QR code, you will get registered your complaint. As your complaint is registered, service engineer is calm and improve the fold. Thank you all of you for the information given by the Bhavin Vegard. Hello, I am Vegard Bhavin Kumar remaining slide covered by me. So, in a previous slide, we show the block diagram of our system. In our system, the street light controlling part is contain hardware plus software. And in the 
complaint system part is contain only software so over here we understood about hardware of our system this is a schematic diagram show we know that any controller or processor required 5 volt dc supply so in this diagram you can see the lm7805 voltage regulator ic for getting constant 5 volt dc supply it is a provide the required voltage to the node mcu now the street light was connected with 8 channel relay module 8, 8 channel relay module having 8 relay over here the led is considered as a street light led is positive terminal connect with the relays common terminal and led is negative terminal connect with the relays no terminal so normally all the leds are off when the given the signal to relay module according signal that particular relay is energized and the common terminal is break the connection with nc terminal and make the connection with the no terminal so that leds is turned on any module or circuit required power supply so relay module also required power supply we provide the power supply using a node mcu and other remaining pin are in1 to in8 which is used for control the relays is connect with node mcu pin respectively which is gpio1 gpio3 gpio15 gpio13 gpio12 gpio14 gpio2 and gpio9 so for example we need to turn on led1 then we need give gpio1 high signal so relay1 is energized and led1 turn on or we need to turn off led1 then give the gpio1 low signal so led1 is turn off now for check this street light is on or off we used ldr ldr is a analog device means give the analog output but in the node mcu we having only one pin for communicate with analog device over here we having a many ldr sensor so read all sensor data we use 16 channel analog multiplexer using this multiplexer we can connect up to 16 analog devices 16 channel analog multiplexer is part number is cd74h c4067 access to multiplexer we connect with node mcu multiplexer also required a power supply so provide power supply is using node mcu in a multiplexer s0 s1 s2 and s3 pin available for select selection purpose so it is a connect with node mcu pin respectively gpio 16 gpio 5 gpio 4 and gpio 0 for enable the multiplexer enable pin is connected with ground pin now for read the value of ldr we having a sig pin in a multiplexer which is signal input output pin sig pin connect with node mcu's pin number 16 which is a0 for example we need read the value of ldr1 so we need to give low signal to this all pin which is gpio 16 gpio 5 gpio 4 gpio 0 and we get the value of ldr1 now let's understand how system actually work all these street light are on and off by itself according to astronomical timer this timer is depending on sunrise and sunset after that every street light has their individual sensor to check intensity of light all output of sensor observed by the operator throughout the web application if fault occurred in the street light then output of that particular sensor change color and red alert is displayed on the web application means if light working properly then 
the indicator show the green color if fault occurred the indicator color will be changed and set the red color it means that particular street light could be faulty misplaced or broken etc now because of any reason if light turns on during the day then there is a manual option available for turning off throughout the web application if customer have any regard any problem regarding to street light then he or she could register their complaint by just select the fault and scanning qr code available on the pole of street light throughout mobile application now the complaint is registered this is some general inst instruction regarding the position of street light here is the dif different different position where the light is installed and according that area is covered if we put the top of the pole then we covered large area this is our prototype here you can see many street lights and qr code for individual right now let's move the advantages part practical and affordable pollution free and this safest way to save energies energies reduce human resource and provides security ensure security low maintenance the next point is enhance performance and life of the lens cost effective disadvantages basic requirement is the internet if internet is not available then system could not work as we know that it is a fully iot based then server problem can occur sometimes troubleshooting issue occur because the connection between node mcu to street light is wired application we can use this application on highway parking mall industries hospitals institute or organization residential use corporate field thank you for watching